So it's only the first day of school, and already Temecula Valley Unified School District is at it again. Listen to this. So I'm within earshot of a bunch of Great Oak High School upperclassmen, listening in shock as, and disgust as they describe how awkward today was at Great Oaks High School. Apparently, the giant stadium first day back shindig featured an openly gay dancer who invited teachers and students up on stage to essentially twerk. He then made a point to tell the audience his story about how he came out when he was 23, he's now in his 40s, and explained how he knew he was gay in the seventh grade. He, quote, knew it when a girl came over to his house and sat on his lap and held his hand and he was repulsed by it. He then shared an inappropriate sex joke, something about the noises that your parents make in the bedroom when you're not home. He invited a very obviously dude guy up on stage and asked him what his pronouns were. What a wonderful, wholesome day of school-spirited fun, none other than Temecula Valley Unified School District. Way to go, party planners. You got the same thing going on in the city of Temecula where drag queens are, are parading around. People are bringing children up to them. That's disgusting enough. But here's the thing. Those parents of those kids, shame on them, but they're the ones that made that decision. How many thousands of kids were there today whose parents didn't want their kids to be exposed to this kind of nonsense? I'm telling you what, the silence from the school board is deafening. What should happen is you should launch a full investigation, find out who's responsible and fire them. However, we know you're not going to do that, which is why this November, there are four highly qualified candidates running against you. You know who they are. And guess what? You're going to lose.